All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. It's coming to you from my remote location. Yesterday, spent a couple hours out at the range with my good friend Bill and a new friend David from Philadelphia uh, shooting the 6mm ARC and trying to test out uh, loads of ammunition. It's kind of difficult for me because I do all my reloading back at home. And unfortunately, where I shoot is about 500 miles away. So testing loads going back on a daily basis is not something that I have available to me. So one of the things we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and shift gears, go back to the uh, 5.56 and 77 grain to the Elite build, and we're going to go ahead and run that in the Sniper's Unknown Challenge. Uh, I know it's perfect, and that's one of the reasons why we're running it, but we're going to still continue testing the 6mm arc until we do get it right. I have all the confidence in the world that that thing will come clean. And the advantages on that round are huge, and that's why we're going to continue moving forward. So let's talk about the reason for this video is that I've seen a lot of memes on Instagram. Love Instagram because it is a platform where a lot of like-minded individuals, such as myself, can sit down and uh, see pictures and other stories and people who are in the firearm industries and in the gun world. Uh, but one of the things that I did notice are the big headlines is that charges will not be filed against Kyle Rittenhouse. And everybody's like screaming, yes, yay, finally justice. But the problem is, is if you don't read past the headlines, he's still being charged with two counts of intentional homicide and uh, one count of attempted intentional homicide. Read beyond the headlines. I think it's great that uh, they're dropping the charges of him having a firearm. But let me read the, the whole thing. The Lake County State's Attorney's Office says it will not file additional charges against Kyle Rittenhouse in connection to the gun he allegedly used to fatally shoot two people during the protest in Kenosha. Also, there is no evidence the gun was ever possessed by Rittenhouse 17 in Illinois. So that's why they're dropping that particular charge. But unfortunately, because this young man, somehow, somebody, allowed him to be in a position where there was a protest going on with an AR-15 and unfortunately he was in a position where he was being chased and assaulted and there was somebody with a firearm who uh, fired a shot. He probably feared for his life and when being assaulted by these older people he took the necessary means to protect himself and that's the way it's seen in the video, I have no doubt that justice will prevail once it does go to, to uh, trial. But unfortunately, a 17-year-old put himself in a position, his parents should be smacked as far as I'm concerned. I would never let my kid be in that position. But in, in, in here's the whole thing. Um, we can sit here and celebrate the fact that charges were dropped in the headlines. And that's one of the key elements. I'm putting it in my headline. Files, charges were dropped. But unfortunately, he is still facing this whole situation. Now, in my mind, is this kid a patriot? I believe he was down there uh, trying to serve a good cause in protecting property. He was down there cleaning things. And unfortunately, he was faced with a vile group of individuals who meant to do him harm. And unfortunately, those dumbasses didn't realize that, well, you know, when you can smack a guy across the internet, nothing will happen. But when you do it in person, there's hell to pay. And that's the problem I have with these individuals with the way they act, is that they're so used to mom acting from mommy and daddy's basement that like, I think it was Mike Tyson or somebody, that there, there needs to be uh, more face-to-face -face contact. And if somebody got a punch in the mouth, they probably do less of what they're doing right now. So anyway, that's just my two cents. Uh, again, guys, don't just read the headlines, but read into the story because the media is there to get you. And with that headline of uh, files uh, not being, uh, charges not being filed, that'll get it. So anyway, with that being said, guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform who support our Constitution as it was written from our founding fathers. And a big shout out to the new Patreons and the guys who support this channel on the Patreon. I really, really appreciate it because of the money you've donated to the channel that did pay for the Snipers Unknown Challenge fees. And yeah, they are that much. So with that being said, I'm out of here. You guys be good. We got to go out and uh, do some more cool stuff. Just to give you a heads up, one, uh, I went out to chronograph uh, last week. 
my uh, chrono didn't work because it wasn't enough light. I was going to get a lab radar, ended up getting a Gen 2 Caldwell, which is, that thing did a great job because it Bluetooths to the phone. Uh, we're testing out the trigger from uh, Grey Guns uh, on the X5 Legion. And what else? That's it. Y'all be good. Talk to you later. Bye.